13, a suspension bridge with weight uniformly distributed along its length has twin towers that extend 75 meters above the road surface and are 400 meters apart. The cables are parabolic in shape and are suspended from the tops of the towers. The cables touch the road surface at the center of the bridge. Find the height of the cables at a point 100 meters from the center. Assume the road is level. Okay, first let's create a picture. So a suspension bridge with weight uniformly distributed along its length has twin towers that extend 75 meters above the road surface and are 400 meters apart. The cables are parabolic in shape and are suspended from the tops of the towers. The cables touch the road surface at the center of the bridge. Find the height of the cables at a point 100 meters from the center. So this entire thing is 400. So if we were to place our own graph, our own XY graph for this, which is the best way to do this problem, the best place to put it would be to put the vertex at 0, 0. Don't you agree? So if the vertex is at 0, 0, then that point right there would be at 200, 0. This point right here would be at 275. This point right here would be at negative 200, 75, and this point here would be at negative 200, 0, and this point would be at 0, 0, and our question would be to find that xy value at 100 from the center, what is that y value? Where is the cable? Okay, so probably the best thing to do is to use our picture to create an equation. Don't you think? Okay, so for a parabola, the equation would be y equals x squared, basically, because the center, because the vertex is 0, 0, it's not moving left or right, it's not moving up or down, and so all we need is, well, there should be an a value, I guess. There should be an a value that kind of indicates the slope or the skinniness of the graph, but then there's no other adding or subtracting to move the vertex, right? You remember that from our transformation disco? Okay. So then, in order to find the a value, we're going to plug in a number that we know. 75. So 75 for the y, a, and 200 for the x. So that allows us to find a. What will a be? 75 divided by 200 squared. If you want to go ahead and do a decimal answer, or at least simplify the fraction, that would be good. What do we get if we do that? So I got 0 0.001875. I'm going to go ahead and change that to a get quit out of there. So I'm going to take my answer and change that to a fraction because I like fractions better. So 3 over 1600 if you want to use a fraction or this if you want to use a decimal. Okay? All right. So now we want to find the y value when x equals 100. So all we have to do is take our new formula that we just created, y equals 3 over 1600, or if you'd rather use 0 0.001875 for that a value, that's fine, and then x squared. So we're looking for the y value when x equals 100. So take our number that we just did. and multiply by 100 squared. So it looks like the cable at that location, at least if I did it right, would be 18.75 feet above the road. Did anyone check the answer on that one? Good. 